boys and welcome back to another video so this is the first video of the whole like stockpiling for bfa series so basically what i will do in these series is clear out my mailbox because i do sell items that i stockpile for bfa if the value is good enough or if i see that i have too many of it and i want to use the space in the bank for something that's worth more so uh, we're going to clear out the mailbox and i'm going to show you guys what i stockpile every single week so basically uh this is what i have so far this is like more than a week's worth though but uh you guys can see the battle pass right here i've already showed you guys these items uh, i have slightly more now though when uh than when i announced the video but i will basically just uh keep my items in the guild bank i will clear them out and we're gonna have like week one week two week three week four and so on so everything is going to be gathered so i can just open up my guild the tab and you guys can see which items i farmed that specific week and then we're going to take a look at the end and see how much we have gathered up but currently what i have right now is this when it comes to like class specific items and battle pets and so on there's only a few battle pets uh i really got to step up my whelpling game bronze whelpling dark whelpling always good to have you you don't want to go in bfa and farm those you just want to have them up in the auction house but you don't want to farm it because there's way better gold per hour videos or farms and obviously the dices and the tombs got to get a shit ton of those back to tilts need a lot of those but the value is pretty good now so i sell it the reaching back this is where the majority of the gold is you guys can see i have two hundred and seventy three thousand gold only in corian bars but the value right now is good so i'm going to sell it and then there's like volts of fire volts of water all the primals i need way more i don't have a single stack of a primal besides from primal earth which sucks ass so i really gotta step up my game on primals and same for like the spirit of harmony this is a seventy-five thousand gold stack now market value but i need more than one stack and i also gotta make more primal might and arcanite bars and living steel and all of that but this is what i currently have so uh as i said i will basically show you a page that's similar to this one but like it's only going to contain like a week's worth of farming so you guys can see what i focused on and so on so uh, i'll go and clean up the mailbox and so show you guys what i've sold so far on this tune so 183 auctions and that's because there's a lot of materials in here but the first clean out is 260,000 gold you guys can see the embers of cloth no point in keeping it i did sell a macro for 21,000 gold it's not a good price i will get more buffet but I know for a fact that I'm going to get a lot of uh, a lot of parrots before beef I hit. So I have, I just decided to sell it. Volatile water, not selling it unless I can get at least 50 gold per volatile. I managed to, to do uh, sell two stacks of it. And the same goes with primal mana. Like primal mana, 6,000 gold a stack. There's only 300 gold per primal mana. But I can get like 220 primal mana per hour. And they're so easy to get. So just selling these off for any anywhere like around 300 gold is good enough for me because the gold per hour is going to be really good obviously selling the well planks because you can easily get like 10 well planks an hour so uh we're looking at like 50,000 gold plus steady farm per hour more primal mana a lot of primal mana selling off some of my cone of many faces just because uh everyone is stockpiling cone of many faces i just want to get rid of them selling some wind scales and nether dragon scales and that's simply because they're so easy to farm but the sell rate on the items is extremely low so i don't want to wait until bfa and drop like 500 scales on the auction house there's no point if you can sell it good for you there's no reason to stockpile them well more than needed right there's no need to have like a massive stack of uh, these rare scales because they don't sell fast anyways so uh keep that in mind when you farm those uh the, the, well basically the materials that can't be used to craft that many different items with them so next clean out 50 auctions and how much value are we talking 120 150 it's gonna be 158,000 gold t7 is too slow 193,000 gold well basically 194,000 gold and uh, let's see if we've sold something of interest more dark well blinks some dark runes i always sell dark runes the same with those you get like a, a stack of them almost in an hour so I always sell them. And more Primal Mana. A lot of Primal Mana. More coins. And the Prison Keys. This is a really bad price. But it's a reputation item. Not needed by that many people. So if I can sell it, good for me. 
and it's just like a bonus item that I get while farming transmog items and running uh, mana tomb. So I don't really mind if I can get 10,000 gold, 5,000 gold for a stack. It doesn't really matter. It's just like 10,000 gold bonus per hour. Even though I've sold a stack for 25,000 gold before. Okay, so next clean out. So you guys can see that I probably make more gold doing materials right now than I do. The transmog challenge probably averaged around like 650,000 gold. It was higher towards the end of the uh, challenge, but materials, man, like starting right off making hundreds and hundreds of thousands of gold, it's way easier, sells faster, but it's also way, way, way more boring than doing transmog. But Primal Mana, okay, so this is a good price. This is like 600 gold each Primal. Wait, it's actually, yeah, that's really good, like almost 700 gold, almost. That's really good. And this time, Bronze World playing 12,000 gold. So you guys can see the value goes up and down all the time. So a lot of you guys probably go out, you farm certain items and you put them on the auction house instantly. I want you to stop doing that from now on. Just put it in your bank. Check your bank constantly and see if the value is high and sell it as soon as the value is high. If someone undercuts you, don't really care about it. Just go out, put it back in the uh, bank again and try again when the value is high. That's my plan. And uh, Bactra Tilt, 95,000 gold. Well, basically sold for 100,000 gold. I don't want to have my Bactra Tilts in the bank if I can sell them now for 100,000 gold because Bactra Tilt is selling extremely good right now. That's because it's the end of the expansion. People are bored. People are looking for other things to do. So Bactra Tilt naturally is going to be a good seller at this state of the expansion. Conan Many Faces, this one actually sold for 24,000 gold. Fell steel bars, these 4,000 gold for five. Really good value. And the same with the Corium, man. Like 5.4k for two bars of Corium. I think I have better sales than this as well. Like, there's no point in waiting if you can already get the price that you're expecting to get in BFA. If you can get that price now, sell it. Like, the Corium bars has gone from like 1,800 gold a bar to uh, 3.5k. My bar, like they go up and down, same as all the other materials. So just wait around whenever you can get a good price for them, sell it. Because that's legit what you're gonna do in BFA. It's just gonna be easier to sell them for a good price in BFA. Last 33 auctions, 169,000 gold. And you guys can see once again, this time two Corian bars, 6.7k gold. That's insane. That's like 3.3k. So uh, if T Sam would load, there we go. More kind of many faces. Nothing worth mentioning, really, besides from, well, we have some volatile fire. Volatile air as well. One stack 14,000 gold, one stack 12.6. So uh, it's good. We're making a lot of gold. You guys can see that I already, how much do I have? I had like 50,000 gold, I believe, on this bank just for like posting fees and so on. Uh, now I'm at 984,000 gold, so basically like 930,000 gold or some shit, like right above 900,000 gold from uh, items that I was uh, got a stockpile, and I have like a lot of gold in these battle pets and toys and uh, materials. There's so much gold in here, it's absolutely insane. But uh, I'm gonna wait until I can get a high gold per hour before I sell these items off. So hopefully you guys are excited to see the stockpiling videos that I'm going to uh, do. I'm still going to continue on my Monday video to upload uh, like your usual Transmog Gold Cap Challenge. And I will upload these as well because I'm not going to focus on the Transmog Challenge. I'm at like 7 million gold, only need 3 more million gold. So I will reach that one pretty soon. So I'm going to... I'm going to focus on this stockpiling uh, challenge right now. Tell me guys what you think. Should I do some adjustments to it? Let me guys know in the, uh, the comments section. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.